Hey guys, so um, here we are as a family again. There's Sarah and Asa back there. Uh, today we went and saw Santa, but we didn't get any pictures done with him. We've gotten pictures with him twice now. We're, we're done. Uh, actually, correction, three times. No, 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 only twice. Yeah, twice. But we've seen him so many different times, it's ridiculous. Um, Johnny, I like the video you posted today about uh, the daughter's situation. It was really interesting. Um, so guys, uh, what we've done is we finished getting all our gifts done for our family members. We were going to do uh, family pictures by a photographer, but we figured out, okay, why don't just save some money and do it on our own. Guys, I'm sorry if I'm fading in and out with brightness. I've got, I'm doing this in our car right now, and I've got a car right in front of me with the headlights on. And I've got cars passing in front. New Facebook message from Cameron Hills. Um. Listen, say, listen message. What was that, Asa? You want to say hi? Hi. Okay, so Asa just said hi, guys. Um, also... We got smart this year. We got we got our kids some gifts at Toys R Us before they closed all their locations here in the United States before way before Christmas at discount rates. Hey. Now they know what they I I I didn't say we got them. But we're still waiting on Santa. To see what Santa brings the kids too. We don't know what Santa's gonna bring. Um, so you guys probably have some really fun traditions going on with your family during this holiday season. If you guys want to share those traditions with us, just post them down in the comments down below. Um, Sarah, do you want to say anything? Uh, it looks like Sarah wants Santa to bring her a doll. And Sarah's been doing the Hokey Pokey song here in the car today, too. Um, we found out that she's going to a, the, a humanitarian center tomorrow for school. And as well as she's going to be caroling from her, with her class in school to another, uh, another class there in her school. It's going to be kind of interesting to see what happens and what they do. Um, <laughs> we're listening to our radio too here in the car. <laughs> um, one of my favorite songs that I actually enjoy more, my wife hates with a passion, is Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer by Emma and Patsy. Tell us in the comments below what your one of your favorite Christmas songs are. We'd like to know. Yeah, just if you heard Stephanie uh, post in the comments what your favorite song is, Christmas song is, and the artist. My my all time favorite though, my all time favorite has to be Bing Crosby's White Christmas. That is the only version of White Christmas I will listen to, unless I'm stuck listening to the radio. Um, also, another good, it's a poem, but it's sort of in a uh, song-like form, is A Soldier's Christmas. And it tells about how Santa is going around the world, delivering toys, and the last stop he makes is out of soldiers' uh, sleeping quarters in the Middle East. And how he uh, starts sweeping, he wakes the soldier up, and the soldier tells Santa, and don't worry, Santa, I chose this. I chose this to protect my, my family, my God, and my country. I chose this lifestyle. So guys, if you know of anybody who ser has served or is serving in the armed forces, um, listen to this song. It'll pull out your heartstrings a little bit. But when you do see them, tell them thank you for their service. I tell that to my uncle. I tell that to my cousin. And... Who my uncle who served in the Navy during Nam 
and uh, my cousin who served during the war that we have right now in the Middle East, he was part of the Air Force. Um, and then I've got a sister-in-law who's in the National Guard here in Idaho. Guys, any, t any way you can serve your country is a great way, even if you're not serving it by uh, going into the military is great. I I serve by supporting our troops because that's the best way I can serve. By supporting our troops, it shows them that yes, I'm there for you guys. It doesn't matter what we do here as long as you have our support. And that's the key thing. Um, a, um, a passenger, you guys are great. I love watching your videos. We all do. Good bitch, you guys are great too. Um, who else, son? Um, April and Davy. Keep it up with Paula. I, tell me if I slaughtered the name. I don't know. Uh, your exchange student. Um, I looks like Sarah's trying to say hi to you guys. Want to say hi, guys, again? <laughs> a doc? No, a doc. Dog. You want a dog? No, a doc. Doc? You want a doc? Oh, okay, so for those of you guys who don't understand what Sarah's talking about, she's into this thing called Doc McStuffin. She's a toy doctor, <coughs> Disney Channel, everything like that. And it's her favorite show. Asa, uh, your f I think Asa's favorite show is Handy Manny. Am I right, buddy? Uh, guys, again, I'm going to let you guys... I'm, guys, if you are brand new to our channel, please subscribe, hit the comment button, and post a comment, hit our like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys can get notified when we do upload new videos. Also, guys, I am... Telling you this one again, we are doing a giveaway for when we hit 1,000 subscribers. It's gonna be something off of my cooking channel. I don't know exactly what it is yet, but it will be that. Uh, if you guys want to see what I've done on that channel, go to Cooking with Caleb, and I'll post a link to that in the description down below. And also, guys, if you guys are at all in the Idaho Falls area during New Year's Eve and you guys want to swing by and celebrate with us, we're going to watch the ball drop 2 a.m. Eastern Time, Midnight Hour Time here in Idaho. Uh, if you guys want to know where to come for that, uh, go to the About Us section. Our address is there. And we'll be more than glad to have you guys over for a little get-together and have some fun. Also, guys, we're doing a, a live cast next week on Christmas Day. So if you guys want to tune in that day, uh, we'll probably be starting about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning with that. After we have breakfast, we're not sure exactly what time yet. I'll let you guys know as it gets closer to when that time will be. So you guys can be part of that family and see what's going on. It, also, guys, we love you. And as um, the Yowie say, Yow, uh, Yowie, you are worth it. And I've got my own saying. Uh, um, all you can do is all you can do, but all you can do is enough. And my wife has Yaz, which stands for You Are Special. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.